Hello everyone, my name is Juni, and if you're new to my channel, I make speed paints and tutorial videos on my channel. But since I launched my Patreons, I have been posting more tutorials there instead of here. Other than that, I am an illustrator. I like to paint my own adaptations of my favorite shows and characters. Lately, I am starting to do my own comics, but I shifted to doing more cinematic scenes instead of comic pages. You can check out my Instagram page for more posts since I am more active there. Anyways, in this video, I will be discussing how I make money as a freelance artist. In the beginning, I have a rough start. I did not have any projects that gained any significant income, where I can just solely rely on art as a career. I won't go into full details on the exact money I make every month right now because I like to keep some informations private. And just to make it easier for you, I will put them into a list right here. From the top being the most money I earn, so just to be clear, I am just a freelancer. I am not specifically working in any industry related to art, be it animations or comics, stuff like that. I accept projects that are offered through my business email and I also go on and search for projects to do. And some of these are non-disclosures but some I was able to post such as these ones. I also get paid to host giveaways on my Instagrams but I am pretty skeptical with how genuine these giveaways are. So I haven't been doing any of it lately. And I started taking art seriously for only two years now, so I don't really have that much experience. In the past years, I was just doing it as a hobby, but then later, I tried to build my own audience. It was definitely a time-consuming process. Back then, I was unsure of how successful I would be doing in art. But after some time of thoroughly thinking it through, I decided to just take the risk and make it into my career. I did not have any guidance or any connections and so I had to do my own research. But after some experiences for a couple of years, I realized that doing art is not that unstable. It might be just luck, chances, or a miracle, but the tricky part is, is that it's to have enough projects that brings back investment. The good thing about being a freelancer is that you can work at your own pace, but it can be hard to make it as a stable job because you will need to hunt for projects to do constantly or have an audience that are able to financially support you when you open commissions or an online store and so forth. Also, you will have to manage your own money in which you go out and buy your own insurance or put your money into a retirement plan like a 401k. From my own experiences, these can get very tiring because of all the documents that you have to read, plus adding the amount of research that goes into searching for the suitable one. So, one of my main sources of income right now is through Patreon. I post exclusive behind the scene of my illustrations every month such as real-time painting videos. I post one painting videos and one real-time tutorial video every month. I also post a breakdown sequence of my illustrations for that month. Included in the perk is the actual Medibank file of the art piece. I also mail out stickers and print to my higher tier patrons. My patrons also vote for the next art piece that they would like me to paint next based on the options that I provided in the poll. You can separate what you want to give out through tier levels. The more patrons pledge, the more money I will receive every month, obviously. I also restart perks every month so that it is fair for my patrons who would have paid the previous months. And of course, it is up to my audience of whether they choose to support me or not. But if you like my content and is in a financial position where you can financially support me, then I would really appreciate it so greatly. Other than that, any form of support, whether through commenting or sharing my posts, is also greatly appreciated. My second source of income comes from Etsy. Despite just opening it last November of 2020, this is more of a supplementary income aside from my other projects because I plan on opening my Etsy shops for a week every month. This just makes it more manageable for me considering I also have to handle the shipments of my Patreon physical perks. I recently opened my Etsy store so what I sell so far are stickers and prints of my artworks. I made my stickers through sticker app and the quality of their stickers are pretty good so I'll just stick to them for now. As for my prints, my cousin is a photographer and he just recently bought a Canon Pro 2000 to do his fine prints. So that is pretty convenient for me. Unlike stickers, I wouldn't have to wait for my prints to arrive. In the future, I plan on selling merch and charms in my Etsy shop. However, opening an online store wouldn't work out so successfully if you do not have any traffic. What I mean by that is your audience. 
Etsy does do some job of sharing my store, but majority of the traffic came from my social medias, such as Instagram and Twitter. Through these platforms, I post regularly and engage with my audience. I keep them updated of the things that I do and I promote my store there. If you were just an artist starting out without any of these, it would be more difficult for you to sell. That's why I suggest growing your own audience first. These can be done just by posting your art through social platforms to grow your audience over time. The people who love your contents will eventually become your customers. Moving on, my third source of income is my YouTube channel. I post tutorials and speed paints here, but as some of you already know, I have been slacking off on posting here. Real-time videos on my Patreon does take a lot of space in my laptop, so I had to choose between what illustrations I will be recording each month. But despite me not posting very often, YouTube does provide me some income that is supplementary of what I normally do. I still would not consider it as my main source because I still haven't been posting too often where I can take it seriously and where income is enough for me to live with it just alone, with YouTube alone. And attending university was also the reason for the lack of videos. Because even though my editing does look really basic, it does take a while for me to find suitable non-copyrighted music. But I just recently got my bachelor's in business administrations, so I will have more time to focus on other things. YouTube is one of the other platforms that I plan on taking more seriously in the future. But I do not want this channel to just stick solely to art. I kind of want to turn this into a vlog or something. My next source of income is through sponsorships. These provide me significant income for just very little effort, but some do require some amount of work. The giveaways that I posted on my Instagram where I become one of the hosts, I do get paid just for posting that giveaway on my page. But as of lately, I have not been hosting or posting any giveaways apart from my own because I do get skeptical of how genuine these giveaways are. And I don't want my followers to be fooled the same way I did. The fifth source of income is through commissions. I suggest to know the worth of your skills because you do not want to devalue yourself just for easy offer. The price of my commissions are listed at my Divine Art Journal. I provided a starting price for various levels of bust, half body, and full body. The actual price will also be based on complexity, character design, and environment like backgrounds and stuff. One piece can range from $180 to $400 for a bust commission, but it can go over thousands for full body illustrations. Personal commissions and commercial commissions will have different pricings. I do work pretty fast because once I start on a project, I became focused on it and I can finish it within a week or a month. But that also depends on level of complexity of the commission. And I do communicate my processes to my clients asking them for their feedback so that I can continue to finish their piece. This way, there wouldn't be any major changes to the final piece. Since I don't really do commissions that often because it does take a lot of time and usually these can't turn into prints and so forth. So normally I don't really do commissions, although it's pretty good money, but it's just a little bit too time consuming. And sometimes I won't have time to focus on my personal projects. And the last source of income is my Gumroad. What I sell on my Gumroad are digital files and videos of my old Patreon perks. But I have not been posting all my Patreon old perks there yet, so it's not enough to be profitable there. Hopefully, I will be able to post more on Gumroad in the future so that in case someone wants to buy my old Patreon perks, they can easily do so. Alrighty, that wraps it up for this video. The point of this video is just to encourage people who are going into the art field as a career that it can be profitable. I am not saying to follow the path that I took. Everybody is different and how people approach their goals will vary among individuals. But I do hope that by me sharing my own experiences, it can help other artists in some way, like having a starting point at least. Anyways, if you have any, like if you have your own suggestions of how to make money through art, please share it in the comments below. Alright, thanks for stopping by. Take care and stay safe.